Hey guys, I'm Lauren from tastebetterfromscratch.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make perfect homemade rolls. The kind that are so soft and light and fluffy you will not be able to eat just one. They are really easy to make and you bet they taste better from scratch. I have been making homemade rolls since I was a young girl and I'm excited to share with you the tricks I've learned over the years to make them perfectly soft and fluffy. So for the first step, we're going to grab our yeast, our warm water, and a pinch of sugar. So we've got one third cup of warm water. You can use one packet of yeast or about two, tea, two and a fourth teaspoons. I'm using active dry yeast. We're gonna activate it in warm water. If you're using instant yeast or rapid rise yeast, you can just add everything to the mixer at once. You don't need to wait like I'm doing right now to proof the yeast. So we've got one packet of yeast and just a little pinch of sugar. You should see it start to foam a little bit as it dissolves, and that means that your yeast is active and ready to make the dough. All right, once the yeast is proofed, we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. So we've got five tablespoons of softened butter, one third cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one egg, and one and a third cups of slightly warmed milk. The most important part with making homemade rolls is not to add too much flour. I like to add one cup of flour to start and turn my mixer on. We're gonna continue adding flour little by little until a dough starts to form. You'll see the dough start to pull away from the sides of the bowl. And you'll know it's ready when it just, it's not overly sticky. It can slightly stick to a clean fingertip. You want it to be really soft. I'm using my stand mixer to mix the dough. You can just use a regular bowl and mix it by hand if you want. We're ready for the dough to do its first rise. We're gonna take it out of our dirty mixing bowl. We're gonna put it in a clean mixing bowl that's been well greased with a little bit of oil or nonstick cooking spray. We're gonna put our dough in there to rise. I like to turn the dough around once just to make sure all sides are coated in a little bit of oil or cooking spray to keep the dough soft. Then grab a kitchen towel or a piece of greased plastic wrap and set it over the top. We are gonna set this bowl aside to rise until the dough is doubled in size for about an hour to an hour and a half. A really easy tip to get dough to rise quicker is turn your oven to 180 degrees. We just want it barely warm. Crack it open and leave your dough in there to rise. It should only take about 30 minutes if you do it that way. Okay, we've got our dough. We're going to divide it into two pieces. Oh, it's still soft and beautiful. So just divide it into two somewhat equal pieces. We're gonna take the first piece and we are going to put it on a greased countertop to roll it out. Some people tell you to use a floured countertop. I like to avoid adding any extra flour to the dough. So I'm just gonna lightly grease my counter, my clean counter. We're gonna put the dough on and we're gonna roll it out into a big rectangle around 11 to 14 in size, 11 to 14 inches. So we're rolling the dough about a fourth inch thick into a nice size rectangle. Just kind of have fun with it. I have found this is the easiest way to shape the rolls. So I like to roll out my dough because I love to roll them into just kind of crescent style rolls that have layers. You also could just roll them into balls if you want to make regular round dinner rolls. Now I'm ready to cut it into some even rectangles. A quick tip that I like to use, I just make an L with my finger and I use that length to measure the size of my rolls. Then we're going to cut the whole thing in half so we end up with 12 somewhat evenly sized rolls. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just have fun with it. Okay, now we're ready to roll each of these rectangles. I roll them up kind of like a snail into a cute little roll like that. All right, our rolls are ready on our baking sheet. It's time for them to rise one more time for about an hour. Cover them with a towel or a piece of plastic wrap and set them aside in a warm place. Our rolls have risen so beautifully, we're ready to stick them in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until the tops are just lightly golden brown. All right, it's time to check on our rolls. They look amazing. Look how gorgeous these look. They're perfectly golden brown on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter 
This is just cold butter right from the fridge. I'm just brushing it on top. Golden brown, delicious. The smell just takes me right back to my mom's kitchen. I'm gonna take these off the hot pan. We're gonna set them on the cooling rack and break into a nice warm roll because I just can't resist. We enjoy these rolls all the time, but they especially remind me of Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas, Easter, all of the holidays. These are always a staple at our dinner table. Nothing beats homemade rolls warm from the oven. I love the layers from the way they were rolled. Homemade rolls cannot be beat. They're so good. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll be sure to post the full video in the description below. Drop me a line in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to like the video, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos where you'll find tons of other recipes that taste better from scratch.